I can already see this is going to be a good one. Hi everybody how's your week been uh, I want to start off this week by just saying uh, don't forget to watch on Tuesday night at 8 o'clock this week with Redbird Tony 2010 uh, for this on this week's on track Tuesday uh, I'm sure Tony will have a great show planned for us. Um, I know, uh, I'm, I'm hoping he gets to go down on his layout with the, I think it would be pretty cool to do a, a live from down there. I don't know how he can do it with his internet or not, but uh, anyway, I think it'd be pretty cool. But anyhow, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which would be uh, Tuesday, uh, Redbird Tony 2010. Don't forget to be there. All right, let's get started with this week's channels. I'm going to start off with Missouri and Frisco River Railroad. Um, and the name of the video that I was watching, first time trying to edit. Well, all I can say about it is, friend, you did a fine job. It's great footage. Uh, he has some really great footage of a layout there. I don't know if it's his uh, or if it was at a friend's, but it some great footage. Not bad. Way to go, Missouri and Frisco River Railroad with 113 followers. The next one, if you guys watched my On Track Tuesday, I did shout this man out before, but I'm going to do it again to let you know. Um, uh, so you guys will check him out. I... I highly recommend this guy's channel. I can't wait till he starts. This is just his introductory uh, video, and he explains a lot and tells a lot in it, and I think you'll be quite interested. I know I'm interested in what he's going to do because it sure sounds great. Sounds like a great guy, too. And the name of the channel is Barn Full of Trains, Introducing introductory to barn full of trains and i i am really excited about this channel as i said um he said he's going to do a how-to channel and if he does everything that he says he's going to do it's going to be a pretty cool channel and barn full of trains he calls his channel that because he really does have a barn full of trains you got to see it to believe it uh check him out uh, he had, well, when I first wrote this, he had six, and then I did the On Track Tuesday thing. He has 24 now, uh, 24 people as of, uh, when I looked the last time, so take care, um, uh, Gary, uh, the guy, uh, Barn Full of Trains, not bad. A&W Railroad, um, 
Gap Trail Rail Fanning Adventure Preview PK and WRR14. And this is an introductory video of its three day trip from Cumberland, Maryland to Pittsburgh, PA by bicycle. Bob is planning to film the uh, bike hike trail, which uses, is used to be what I believe is the old Western Maryland line that went from Cumberland to Pittsburgh. I personally have seen portions of this trail because uh, I used to um, drive a, um, a dump truck and I hauled a lot of the uh, the the, uh, the material that they use for the trail itself, which is a, a finely ground up gravel, which we call dust, and then they pack it tight, and it gets hard as a oh, pretty pretty close to hard as a rock, but yet it's soft enough to where if you fall or wreck or anything like that, it ain't gonna tear you up. But uh, and it does have a treasure chest of railroad. Um, memorabilia along that trail because it's like I said it used to be an old railroad R beautiful scenery it, this this guy if he makes his videos of the whole trip he's going to catch some great footage um, good luck Bob I wish you all the best and uh, I can't wait to see the videos so that's P K and W Railroad he has 68 subscribers. Uh, the next one is Steve 87th PSAP. New intro and mail call and build series. And it's a short intro, but a cool mail call. <laughs> Real cool mail call. Uh, I like the 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 Wathers mainline rolling stock to begin with and he, he got some of that plus uh he got a really really very fast peek at in the intro of what looks like a really nice layout in behind him so not bad Steve he has 51 subscribers check him out Steve 87th PSAP. The next one is a uh, is Chris Shoulders. Um, train going down the loop, and I'll tell you, this is a really nice video of Chris's helix and a very long train that he's taken down the helix. I like long trains. This is the video. Buck likes long trains. I know he'll love this video. Um, if you like looking at long trains, <laughs> this is your video. Chris Shoulders. He has 113 followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, people watching this video on a regular basis. <laughs> That's great. Not bad, Chris. Check him out. Chris Shoulders. The next one is Nathan DeLay. And my buddy Nathan is... This, this, this episode is my display at the Wilkin, which I think he meant walk-in, uh, art center in Schoolkill Haven. And Nathan... Congratulations, and that is very cool that you have your stuff displayed at an art center. He had his double-decker train there displayed that I did notice, and a few other items that was his, all displayed on a nice little table there, displayed with all his stuff, along with a lot of other fine arts and stuff that was put in there. I, I just think that is just downright awesome, Nathan. So... Shout out to Nathan DeLay. Not bad, buddy. And my last shout out goes out to Ron Piskel. Ron's workbench number 10. 
up on the roof. And Ron shows how he installs paper shingles on his on his uh, uh, structure that he built. And I tell you, it you know he he shows that he is an inspiration to all of us. Yes, sir, Ron, you're an inspiration to all of us with these big sausage fingers. <laughs> he calls, he complains about his fingers all throughout the whole thing, and I, I, you know, I feel for you, Ron, because I, I have the same problem. You got to see, you'll never see a video of me and at, at. Well, I shouldn't say never, but you, you probably won't see a video of me installing KD cuppers. You got to see that. These big sausage fingers, and even with using tweezers, I, I have a hard time. But I get it. I get her done. And we get her done. Us sausage finger guys got to stick together. <laughs> um, not bad. <laughs> Ron Piskel, Ron's workbench number 10. Check him out. Okay, and that takes us to the Rail Fan Video of the Week. And this week's Rail Fan Video of the Week is United Rail Fan. War Bonnet, Jeeps, and Leslie's. Rail Fanning Le Lamont, 9719. And I'll tell you, if you want to see some nice engines, he gives you a plethora of them in that short video. So... Nice checking out. It's 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 just a nice rail fan video. You gotta check it out. Uh, my runners up are Shoney 747 4K Aging EMD Locomotives Rescue a Stalled Grain Train at Warren Hep Bank. And the other one is Knoxville District Rail Fan. NS-282, led by NS-1071, the New Jersey Central Heritage Unit, in Cahata, Georgia. And uh, that, 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 Her that Jersey Heritage Unit, even though it needed a wash, still looked awesome. I, I love the, the Heritage Units. I can look at them all day long. I just think they're great. So check out those guys. Uh, they're they're awesome. Um, for the rail fan videos of the week. Now let's go to the question of the week. And this is the last one of the from I think it was clear back in my 50th uh, episode that I asked guys to tell me what they'd like me to ask. And this is the last one I have. Uh, and this one is by Sparky107107. And he asked me to ask, if you could have one thing for your layout, what would it be? One thing. Just one thing of anything out there. It could be something to do with scenery. It could be an engine. It could be some rolling stock. If it's one thing that you could have for your layout, what would it be? And you know, I've sat and thought about this one. And that's a tough one. Because <laughs> you got to pick it down to one thing. And when you start thinking about one thing, man, there's some nice stuff that I could have on my layout. But uh, I think if I had to pick one thing that I wanted for my layout, I think it would probably be perfect wiring. I mean, and when I say perfect wiring, I'm talking about all my structures lit, uh, the signals going, working in and out, uh, the, the, the signal lights, all that hooked up just 
perfectly. And uh, I don't know if I'll ever get to that point, but I'm going to sure give it a shot, try. But that's something that I would probably really like for my layout. I think everything else I'll be able to handle to my satisfaction anyhow. It might not be. And as far as engines and locomotives, you know, they'll come, but uh, there ain't nothing that just I just look at and say, I gotta have. <laughs> I'm, I'm, ha I'm content with what I got and uh, always would like to have more, but there's nothing, no one engine or anything out there that I just look at and say, I gotta have. So, I might be a little different than you guys. But I really would like to have some beautifully working wiring uh, and, and have everything just work flawlessly. Uh, when I get all done and said, you know, like I said, street lights, the lights on my, and uh, in, in all my structures, all LED with, with the, the, the signal lights, uh, so that when you come up into it and we've got another one coming, it'll bring up the red light. I just think that's, that's what, that, that, that little touches like that is what makes your layout really look alive, I think. So, all right, folks. Well, we're going to go to the layout and I did make a couple little, work on it a little bit this here past week. And there's a couple little changes, which I think if you've been looking in the background, you see a little bit. One, I got my engines from Nathan sitting on the layout. And I don't know how long they're going to stay there because I don't want nothing to happen to them while I'm working on it. So I'll probably put them back away, but I did want to put them out on the layout. And they will have a permanent spot here someday where I know that they can be put out there and... Nothing's going to crush them or break them or anything like that because they are probably one of my prized possessions. So, all right, folks, let's go to the layout. All right, folks, we're at the layout. And you can see I got the train going. The first thing I want to show you is I moved this building over into this corner. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing, but it's just an idea right now. For the reason is, I come back over here. As I'm starting this part of the layout, which I got that industry over there, and I think what I'm going to do is have in here where my controllers laying right now and stuff. Uh, I'm going to put my lumber yard in there. So. That's thought. And then over in here, this is going to be kind of just basically the rail yard where the, the engine house is. And there's the train station, the depot. Yep, it's back on the layout. And we got the start of a little community there which will probably be the Indian head community but if you notice we get on over here you don't see so much of that blue anymore see that blue over there and that's just about all gone because I've been a painting fool <laughs> and I'm getting ready as you can see where the tunnel portholes are this is going to be a mountain area back in here. Now, I know I've said that a million times, but I also want to put in a little bit of a water feature. Not much of one, but I'm thinking right in here. Now, I might, might move this right here, that little siding here, because it's kind of stupid to have it just there going to nowhere. All right and take that out and then I was thinking about maybe like coming off the hill with a little waterfall here and going into a small stream and coming down and emptying out over here into nowhere 
It's a thought. I'm working on it. That is a thought. And uh, I'm, I'm liking the thought. So, the little bridge scene there and everything, I think that looked good. Kind of a shallow, swampy little stream type area there for the, the train to go over with maybe a nice girder bridge or something. Alright. Still going to have the the train coming up the incline up the hill and then it's going to probably turn real sharply here and come down through here and come around and come around the, and come around the mountain there level there and come back and probably just stop I don't know if I'm gonna hook in a reverse loop and reversing loop and put it in there or you know, I haven't I haven't really got into that for my thought yet I know I have an idea about what I want to do I personally it wouldn't bother me to back my train all the way back down the mountain or take my train pushing the stuff up the mountain which a lot of the the logging railroads did and 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 then pulling it back down or vice versa you know so that's what we got to show you today there's Nathan's stuff I am standing in the center today and we got trains are rolling Don't forget to uh, check out Redbird Tony tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern. And I'll be back next Monday with another Not Bad. Hopefully more progress done. And it starts to look a little more like a, a layout. And uh, I got a lot of stuff to do. Stuff that don't show up too much when you're doing these videos like I gotta solder joints more more drop feeders uh, I got a bunch of stuff like that stuff like I said doesn't show up too well I got a lot of that to do I'm anxious to start into scenery a lot more and uh, which I'm sure you guys are all into that. Well, thank you again for, for watching. I love all you guys. Thanks for all the information and great videos. You give me something to talk about to you every week. <laughs> and I just want to say, I'm going to come back over here and catch this again. And I just want to say, May the Lord's will be to bless you guys always. I I just thank you guys so much. And uh, on that note, I'm going to say thank you again for watching and adios till next week, amigos. I want to get off here before something derails and I have some kind of goof up. See ya. Bye bye.